What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the Vapid Riata. I know it's been a while since this came out. It came out day one of a DLC. I just didn't have enough time to uh, post a video on it, customization video, but I'm doing it now. Many of you have been requesting it, so I'm doing it just for you guys. It was $380,000. Not too bad. Very reasonable. This is based off the Ford Bronco uh, concept truck. Really cool. I mean, obviously the original back in the day was very, very popular. And they made a concept version of it. And they've been reskinning it, reworking it back and forth. And they made a concept of it. And now the rumors are getting even heavier that it's going to come out for real this time. And there's been spy photos and stuff of them, t of them testing the Bronco. So it's definitely coming sooner or later. Rockstar did give us a concept version, which I find to be very, very nice that's really cool here it is right here it does come without the uh, bed cap but obviously you can add it make it look just like the Bronco this is it right here basically it looks kind of just like a tundra at first glance but once you put the bed cap on it it really just comes together and you can see what it's meant to be let's go ahead and customize it you can customize this in Los Santos customs your CEO garage pretty much customize it anywhere it's a normal today? vehicle you don't have to have anything special to own it what can I help you with? armor yes brakes bumpers all right the visual stuff yeah a bull bar it was stock crawler bar that's pretty cool primary stock ram bar secondary we have bull bar two okay primary okay not bad I personally, I like the stock one. I think it kind of goes with the bodywork. I think it's really nice. That's the one I'm going to put on there. The uh, second option. And rear bumpers. So you have the bull bar. Primary and then secondary. I don't know how I feel about the bull bar, to be honest. I, mean, I think it's pretty cool, but... It's like... I don't know, so it's like a bumper on top of a bumper. Like, I don't know, it just looks weird. I um, think I'm going to stay without it for now. Now let's do the engine upgrade kind of engine and then like the exhaust. Alright, so you have titanium. So stock, you have dual chrome tips, which I find very nice. Then you have titanium ones, which look kind of weird. Then you have the carbon and then you have the aluminum. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the stock. I'm not really a fan of these mufflers. I don't like the way they look on there. They look pretty bad, to be honest and grills okay so you have the retro grill and then you what have the classic see? grill well, the classic one is the closest one you're going to get to the ford bronco uh, concept and also the actual ford bronco itself for the the older one so the classic grill is the one you're going to get the closest to this one looks to me looks kind of like a jeep grill i don't know I'm not really a fan of it and then you have the stock grill so i think i'm going to go with the classic grill even though the stock like grill is pretty hard. cool because you got the extra little fog lights in there, but yeah, let's go with a classic grill and then the hood. So you got the bug deflector, which is really cool. And you have the primary, so you can kind of color match it. And you have the USA, which looks pretty cool. And you have the primary vented, secondary, and then vented hood. And vented hood too. This one looks really cool. It looks kind of like the Ford Raptor Long hood. Very cool right there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with one of the vented ones for sure. I think I might go with this one because it has like the kind of like blackish color in the center. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, standard, so we'll go with the truck one. Headlights, you do xenon, so you can leave the stock ones. I'm gonna do xenon. These headlights are beautiful, by the way. All right, liveries. So you can do a center stripe. You can see right there. Do a blue double stripe awesome double white stripe mesh colors back and forth and you have made in the USA looks really cool doesn't get more American than that if you can think it, I can and you have the Shrewsbury Hunter Don Camo Woodland Redwood Patriot Beer <laughs> that's hilarious Space Cadet Okay, so that's all of them. I think I'm going to go with the white stripe just to be a little different, but I'll keep on looking through afterwards. 
We have the plates. Oh, okay, I already changed that. I have my brick plate there. The same one I had on the insurgent. Kind of, kind of funny. And then primary color. So this one can go many different ways. You gotta be... Well, I don't want to say careful, but I mean... This truck, I mean, it pretty much looks cool in any other color. And you can see the secondary color is really cool because it's that portion right there of the door and all that. So it's kind of like a... Uh, Kind of like the Ford, Exp like the Explorers in the day, how they had like the wood paneling on the side or the uh, different color on the side, which I find kind of cool. And this thing looks, I think it looks so cool in, in like a normal yellow. It looks like a little Tonka truck. It looks pretty cool. Um, but you can, I mean, you could really just, I mean, most colors look really good. I would say, look at this green with the white stripes. That looks really, really nice. Very, very nice. Honestly, I think I might do that green. <laughs> that, that, that really caught my eye. That looks really good. So that dark green. Looks almost as good as you. And then secondary will match that. With the uh, white. Doesn't look bad. You've got an eye for this stuff. And then the crew emblem would be right there on the side of the door, which is kind of cool. Both sides. And then roof. So here you have the primary bed cap. So this is what would complete your Ford Bronco look. And you have the secondary bed cap, which I find kind of cool also because it separates it. And you can have the bars, so here are all the different bars, kind of like the Sand King in a way. No rush at all. So all these are very similar to the Sand King. And you have the roof rack, this one's definitely not from the Sand King. <laughs> and then that's it. Well, the roof rack one is actually pretty cool. But again, I'm going for the Ford Bronco look, so I'm definitely going to put the primary Your cap. Cosmetics are on point. The skirts. So you have the slat skirt. We have this is, this is a stock one. Then you have the slat skirt, which looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like the Ford Raptors uh, uh, side steps. Then you have the chrome. So you have like the little chrome um, detail right there on the edge of it. And then you can have the primary, which looks pretty cool. I'm not really a fan of matching that exact part. And then you have the secondary. I think I think I'm gonna go with these because with the chrome trim, kind of looks kind of weird. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this lat skirt. And the suspension, you can lower it if you want. I think I'm gonna keep it nice and high. And then transmission, turbo. Alright, wheels. So this can go to many different ways, obviously. These wheels are absolutely huge, similar to what you get with the Sand King when you put regular wheels on it. And then, um, obviously, you know, when you go through them. But the off road ones. So the stock ones, you'd say, you know, they look exactly like the off-road ones, but when you look closely and you actually change it, the off-road ones are actually a little smaller. They're a little, they're I less wide, the tread is not as thick, and they're not as tall either. The way you can tell, if you can look at the suspension, you see a spring right there, you can see how it's slightly lower and it's slightly higher. So, I mean, these are nice and all, but I really, really like the stock wheels on this truck. I just think they fit it so well. We have a design. I mean, these look great too. Oh. These, I'm not gonna lie. These actually wouldn't look too bad in black on this truck, to be honest. Or even chrome. Let's see. That doesn't look too bad at all. Wow, that actually, that actually looks a little nicer than I thought. But I mean, they're not really that. Too, they're not really too far off the stock ones from the uh, from these. Let's go ahead and put these on there, and we'll paint them in black and see how they look. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And then we can even throw some tire lettering on there, let's see how that looks. Doesn't look too bad. And then bulletproof tires, of course. Windows, you can tint them black all the way. Obviously, it was up to you. I'm just going to do a light smoke, pretty much what I always do. And alright, so let's exit the to the ground. It doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm kind of happy with it. Alright. Look at that. Alright, so let's go and pass the mode just in case we get shot down by someone. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here you have the interior. So this is the exact same interior you find in the, uh... 
let's see, the Dubsta 6x6, the Mammoth, you know, these is all the same interior. It's a very generic SUV slash truck interior. And then we have the uh, normal beams, and then the high beams, it actually activates the LED light bar, which I find to be really cool. I'm glad Rockstar actually made that work, because on a lot of vehicles in GTA, they put an extra light or whatever, and it actually doesn't work. Kind of sad. So I'm actually glad that they made that work for a change. So obviously you can tell where the snow right now. I, I can't really give you an opinion on the way it handles or anything like that, but I mean, it definitely feels pretty fast. Pretty sure we can climb over this, no problem. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nope. No problem. Like, it's not even there. <laughs> Obviously, it's nice and high up. You can do some crazy off-roading with this, I'm sure. Not as good as the uh, night the, the night shark. It might not seem like a really good off-roading vehicle, but it's, it's so heavy, and it absorbs all the little bumps and everything. It, it actually is a crazy good off-roading vehicle, the night shark. This thing feels kind of like the uh, older trucks in the game. Kind of slidey, kind of. Um, not slidey per se, but it, it rocks a little bit on the on the bumps and stuff when you off road. It's not very stable compared to others. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's a great addition to the game, especially at its price point, three hundred eighty grand. Uh, and if you really think about it being a concept truck, and in your mind, if you say, you know, I'm buying a concept truck, something that's different, it's not a normal truck you bought at the Ford dealership for fifty grand. It's, it's you know, it's a concept truck. Then I mean, I think it's totally worth it. 380 grand plus upgrades, you're looking at about roughly $450,000, more or less. So, I mean, it's under half a million dollars, you know, the way you see it. I think it's absolutely great value for the money. It's in the off-roads class, thank God. They keep throwing everything in the sports class, which I've called the miscellaneous class now. So, it actually is an off-road class. You can use this in off-road races, have some fun. Obviously, it's not the best when you have the bikes in there and the trophy truck. It's not going to compete with them at all. But, you know, it's definitely really cool. You can mess around, have some off-roading journeys and stuff, take some cool pictures, experiment with this. You know, it's I find it really cool, a great addition to the game again. Uh, let's really quick open the... Uh, let's see if the hood opens and all that stuff. Let's see if it does. I hope it does. Alright, look at that. Alright, for, for some reason, for some reason we, we got a four cylinder for some reason. Okay, Rockstar, it makes perfect sense. Uh, Alright, so there's the interior, obviously a two seater, just like the Bronco. And then back here you have the bed cap, and this part will open. Obviously, if you don't have the bed cap, the part will still open the same way. Pretty cool, and let's see if those belts spin. Looks like the same engine from the Sultan. I don't know why they were using that. Uh, let's turn it on. Remote function. There we go. Let's see if those belts spin. Are they spinning? Can't really tell, to be honest. Wow, it's too tall. I can't even see in there. Oh, it's just a really badly rendered... Uh, yeah, it doesn't spin or anything. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I like it. I actually like this truck a lot. Some people think it's funny looking, it's weird, but that's what I like about it. <laughs> it's different. It's not like every other truck out there. It's it's kind of funky looking, it looks strange, it looks like something that was made, in, you know, in a, in a, like you saw in a cartoon, in a Pixar movie or something. I don't know, it just, it looks cool. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's a funny, little cool truck. So... Hopefully many of you buy it, many of you probably bought it already, and you like it, and if you're thinking about it, and you have some money laying around, I mean, I would suggest buying this. Getting $380,000 back will not take you that long, to be honest. Uh, and I think it's a great addition to your garage if you like trucks. So that's it, guys. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.